wants to be a millionaire live trivia show. My name is Genevieve and I'm delighted to have you here today because international variants of this game show has been aired across 130 countries worldwide. And today you're just 15 questions away from equally sharing our grand prize 1000 euros. So the rules are very simple. You're going to have 15 questions and four possible options to choose from, with only one of them being the correct one. So choose the right answer in 15 seconds and take a step closer to our grand prize, equally shared 1,000 euros. Also, if you're not sure the correct answer, you can use one of the two lifelines, 50-50 or ask the audience. So choose 50-50 and we will take two of the wrong answers away or ask the audience and you're going to be able to see what other players are choosing for their answer. So ladies and gentlemen, you know the rules, you know the lifelines, wish you good luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? All right, let's begin our show. Let's have a look at the first question. Good luck. Who is Portugal's star captain for Euro 2020? A. Cristiano Ronaldo B. Rafa Silva C. Nuno Mendes or D. Sergio Oliveira A, B, C, A, D. Well, hopefully a fairly easy question to begin with. So hopefully a lot of you get this one right. All right, guys. Ready to see? The correct answer is, of course, Cristiano Ronaldo. Congratulations, uh, whoever got the first question right. Well, let's move on to the next one. Good luck, everybody. The final and semi-finals of the Euro 2020 will be played in which city? Paris, Rome, Madrid or London? A, B, C or D. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Last seconds to get that answer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time to find out the right answer is it's D, London. So look at that, 2,096 players still fighting for that grand prize. Well, two questions done. Let's move on to the next one. Good luck. Which is the only country to win two consecutive European championships? France, Italy, Spain, or maybe you think it's Germany. Well, good luck everybody, last seconds. All right, ready to find out, ladies and gentlemen, the right answer to the third question is, it's C, Spain. Congratulations, guys, very well done, who got this one right, and now, Let's have a look at the fourth question of the show. Good luck. Which Scandinavian country is making their tournament debut at Euro 2020? A. Finland B. Norway C. Sweden or D. Denmark Any idea? Last seconds. Best of luck. I think you know this one. Well, let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, the right answer to the fourth question is A, Finland. So congratulations, you got this one right. Ladies and gentlemen, four questions done. Now let's have a look at the fifth question of the show. Good luck. Which French star scored two hat-tricks at the 1984 European Championships? Anton Griezmann, Michel Platini, Thierry Henry, Lillian Thuram. Well, last seconds, good luck. Well, intrigued to see how many of you got this one right. So, ladies and gentlemen, the right answer is B, Michelle Platini. Congratulations, 1,509 players still into the show, ladies and gentlemen. If the questions are getting a little bit harder, don't forget you can use those lifelines too. All right, ready for the next question. Which sports company will supply all the balls used in Euro 2020? A. Asics B. Reebok C. Adidas or D. Nike Well, A, B, C or D, ladies and gentlemen. Final seconds. All 
All right, guys, time to find out the right answer to the sixth question is it's C, Adidas. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Very well done for those 1,346 players managed to get so far. Well, let's have a look at the next question. Which country won the first European Championship in 1960? France, Italy, Denmark, or Soviet Union? Well, last seconds to get that answer. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the right answer to the seventh question is... It's D, Soviet Union. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, we're getting in the middle now. Let's have a look at the eighth question of the show. 15 seconds on the clock. Good luck. Dennis Bergkamp, of which country was one of the top, top goal scorers at the 1992 European Championships? Sweden, Netherlands, Germany, or Belgium? Well, last seconds. Good luck. All right, intrigued to see how many of you got this one right. Ladies and gentlemen, the right answer is B, Netherlands. Congratulations, guys. 1,065 players are still fighting for the grand prize, equally shared 1,000 euros. Good luck. Hampton Park, a Euro 2020 venue, is in which Scottish city? Edinburgh, Glasgow, Inverness, Dundee. A, B, C, or D. Is that your final answer? Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you're, if you're from Scotland, I believe you should know this one, right? All right, guys. It's, of course, B, Glasgow. Congratulations, 1,013 players still fighting for that grand prize. Well, guys, what do you think? Are you able to get till the end? Let's have a look. Which landmark features on London's Euro 2020 host city logo? Buckingham Palace, Tower Bridge, London Eye, or Hyde Park? Well, last seconds to get that right. Good luck. All right, ladies and gentlemen, did you ready to find out the right answer? And it is... It's B, Tower Bridge. Look at that, 868 players are still in. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget, if you still have those lifelines, feel free to use them if the questions are getting a little bit harder. All right, 11th question, good luck. Who managed England at a 2004 European Championship? Sven Goran Eriksson, Steve McLaren, Peter Taylor, or Sam Allardyce? Well, is that your final answer, ladies and gentlemen? Intrigued to see the right answer, ladies and gentlemen. It's A, Sven Goran Eriksson. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Very well done if you got 11 questions right. Now only four left. Good luck. Next question. Dutch manager Haas Hiddink managed which na national side at the 2008 European Championships? A. England, B. Wales, C. Russia, or D. Belgium? A, B, C, or D. What do you think? Last seconds. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time to find out. The right answer to the 12th question is... It's C, Russia. Congratulations, guys. 756 players are still fighting for that grand prize. All right, ready for the next question? Good luck. Who scored Spain's only goal in the final of Euro 2008? Andrea Iniesta, Icar Casillas, Fernando Torres, or Carlos Puyol? A, B, C, or D, what do you think? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you got it right. I hope you chose. I hope you chose C, Fernando Torres. Lovely, ladies and gentlemen, 13 questions down, only two steps away from equally sharing that grand prize. Good luck. Which country put England out on penalties in Euro 2004? A, Germany, B, France, D, sorry, C, Netherlands, or D, Portugal? 
A, B, C, or D? Is that your final answer? All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a look at the right answer. And it is D, part to go. Congratulations, guys. 637 players still in. Well, keep in mind, 15 seconds on the clock. And now, are you ready for the final question? Let's do this. So, the Falcons is the nickname of which Euro 2020 side? Slovakia, Russia, North Macedonia or Finland? A, B, C or D? Is that your final answer? Well, I really want to know how many of you got all the 15 questions correctly. Ladies and gentlemen, the right answer is A, Slovakia. Congratulations. We got 551 players equally sharing that grand prize of 1,000 euros. So congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. I surely hope you enjoyed our show here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Live Trivia here. Well, don't forget to check out Adventures Beyond the Wonderland Live to continue your fun and I'll meet you in three hours for the next show. So thank you very much once again. Congratulations and see you later. Bye-bye.